By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe applications of Bernoulli's principle. The wings of an aeroplane give the lift necessary for the plane to fly. The wings are built in the shape of an aerofoil to make use of Bernoulli's principle to provide the lift on the aeroplane wing. How does an aerofoil lift in air? For a plane to lift off, it has to create an upward force. The wing flaps on the wings of an aircraft are designed to enable the lift to be created. When a plane rolls down the runway with increasing speed, the wing flap is pointing downwards. This will create a huge lifting force upwards and the plane will take off. What will happen if we reverse the shape of the wing? When the pilot wants to land the plane or reduce its altitude or height, the wing flaps are pointed upwards. When the wing flap is pointed upwards, the force is acting on the wings pointing down. This will reduce the plane's altitude. Flaps are used to increase drag and land the plane. Bernoulli's principle has many applications in our everyday lives. Can you explain how Bernoulli's principle is applied in all the situations you have observed? Click on the pictures to know more. The gas or gaseous fuel is supplied to the Bunsen burner through the gas inlet and above it air is passed through a very small hole. Since the area of flow of the air is small, the speed is high and the pressure is low. This causes air at atmospheric pressure to rush into the burner through the air hole. This mixture of air and gas rises to the opening of the chimney where it is burned. When the trigger is pushed back, that parting of the cylinder is made narrower. The air inside the bottle comes out through the small opening with high speed. A low pressure region is created near the opening. The air pressure inside the bottle is higher. The difference in pressure makes liquid in the bottle move up and comes out as a spray. Depending upon the amount of airflow, the throttle valve in a carburetor controls the volume of fuel flow. If the airflow is higher, the speed is higher, the pressure is lower, and more fuel is pumped out of the float for burning. Bernoulli's principle plays an important role in many sports applications as well as in leisure activities. The sports of baseball apply the principle in the motion of the ball. The game of boomerang throwing depends on the principle to enable flight. Here are several situations that involve principle. A spinning baseball has more air turbulence on top of the ball, producing slower air speed over the ball. Meanwhile, air moving under the ball accelerates and moves faster, producing less pressure on the bottom of the ball. The ball moves downward faster than would normally be expected. As the boomerang flies through air, each wing produces lift. 
Once again, Bernoulli's principle is used to explain how the lift is formed. The air moves faster over the upper surface than the air moving over the lower surface. This means that a pressure difference exists between the lower and upper surface that results in a lift.